Hello, hello, Tyler Bryden here. I hope everything is going well. All right, let's jump into it. Gemini, Google's uh, phenomenal release marked with controversy. I'm just going to pull this up. Let's uh, take a look on the Twitter feed. What's trending? This started to break yesterday. At the core, what's going on here? Google releases this model allowing you to generate these images within the system. And what people realize very quickly is, hey, if I ask it to create an image of someone, almost no matter what, it's generating a diverse output. German soldiers who are Asian and African Greek warriors who are black and Asian. I think the validity of all of these responses are fascinating. It's hard to check and understand what is information and what is misinformation. In totality, the common conclusion here is that Google pulled these strings and architected this system to have diverse representation, which in many cases is a positive concept and thing to do. But in this case, what the bigger part is we're seeing, it doesn't want to display images of white, even historical figures, which they would have been obviously white. Now, there is a huge part of this AI responsibility initiative where inclusion and diversity in data sets is an important part. And I wanted to touch on something interesting. There was only two things that could happen here. One, which is the original data set that this model, these models were trained on was diversified intentionally by alphabet to create a historical context and understanding that is more ethically diverse and representing the wonderful diversity throughout the world. However, by doing that, they at least skewed that data set to be a relatively inaccurate picture of where we've ended up from history to now. This is a difficult issue to talk about because, first of all, I'm a white male. There's some minority groups that I also fit into, but at a core level, that is true. And we think of colonization, we think of ethnic white people, and that has then led to this idea of history being told by the winners. So that's option one, which is they diversified that data set so that this model would have a more diverse understanding of the world. The second option is, and it could be a combination of both, the second option was they put specific instructions in the system configuration layer or instructions to these models where if requested to generate images of people that they should consistently be diverse. And I actually don't know which one of those is. I'm not even going to say worse because the backlash of this is immense. In my situation, I'm thinking for me, it's a little more entertaining versus firing me up emotionally or feeling like that. Globally, embarrassing rollout. Lots of memes around getting fired and Sundar messaging about Google basically programming their AI to be racist. The, the response has been relatively universal even for people maybe sitting more on the liberal spectrum and looking at diversity and inclusion as an important thing. Generally, a lot of us believe in that idea, but at a core level, when it's disregarding historical accuracies, I think it starts to cross a line, which is generally the consensus. And I think the bigger trend and why this has been such a flop for them, and this is a series of flops for Google's AI releases, and it's crazy because they're doing some incredible things that are not being covered as much because it's being outshadowed by this, but a trend of diversity and inclusion that is leading to this idea of the ideological echo chamber. And this is a continued trend we've seen on cancellations on YouTube and people getting their account deleted. And it then peaked in this moment. Paul Graham, founder of YC, here, Elon Musk all over this Again, the memes continuing <laughs> here and even signs or signals from one of the product managers in charge of Gemini about a general trend of this woke ideology that then has obviously found its way into the product with even specific threads being detailed here. <laughs> and then we've got the jokes. We got the fun stuff. I'm a Canadian here. So we got Trudeau getting roasted. And this led to Google apparently pausing Gemini image generation uh, while they tried to figure this out with examples again of people detailing the prompts that they've gone through to try to generate white people. And I think one of the other interesting points here was that Google 
was doing this and it was so explicit and clear with this image generation model, but then we have to think, wait, what is happening on YouTube? What is happening on Google search? And all their distribution and information and curation, if so obvious in this instance, being done everywhere else uh, as well. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Interesting story, continue to see just the large scale consequences of these large language models and this AI and really that they are just a representation of the data sources that have been fed into them. And the agenda of the people then curating that data sources as well as the instruction on how that engine should then communicate and generate information and responses. Already challenges around ChatGPT becoming more woke. Anthropic Claude has had a lot of problems doing relatively simple things for ethical reasons, them trying to take a more ethical approach. And then obviously, again, hitting a peak here with Google Gemini. A fascinating story. I don't really wanna dive in and get into any trouble here, but as, as someone who is involved in the AI space, just I think they're probably in a bit of state of chaos uh, after all of this uh, emerged. This is from Tyler Bryden taking a look at Gemini. Hopefully you got some insights out of this video or at least some laughs along the way. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.